I thank my colleague, uh, Senator Whitehouse, and then Senator Menendez, and others may come, but we've had so many people waiting. I want to make sure that Senator Whitehouse and Senator Menendez could be next. Okay. Great. Thank you, Chairman. Um, there was a famous thesis not long ago about the world being engaged in a clash of civilizations. Um, and I tend to subscribe to that thesis, but I think its author got the boundary, the line of contact, if you will, wrong. I think the clash of civilizations that we are in is between rule of law and regimes that are criminal, kleptocratic, and autocratic. And one of the perils that we on the rule of law side of that clash of civilizations face is the support within rule of law jurisdictions for assets amassed by the kleptocrats, the autocrats, and the criminals who know that if they leave it at home, some bigger kleptocrat, autocrat, or criminal is going to come and steal it. So they come and seek refuge behind rule of law, and they seek that refuge anonymity. In order to get those assets where they want to hide them, money laundering is the best tool. And there are lots of ways we hunt down money laundering, and I want to thank Senator Crapo for his leadership in the beneficial ownership battle uh, that we had so that U.S. shell corporations are no longer such an obvious tool for money launderers and kleptocrats and criminals. But trade-based money laundering has now emerged as a means of accomplishing this foul purpose. And trade-based money laundering is a little bit difficult to track because the symbol of it may be a perfectly innocuous package of goods that is perfectly legal in every respect. And if you were to take that package apart and inspect every part of it, you would find no contraband or nothing wrong. But let's say it was a $750,000 set of goods. If the bill for it that went to pay for it was for $7,500,000, or if it was for 750, the margin is probably a way of laundering money across borders. And I'm very interested in that context, particularly uh, Ms. Smith from you, with what, how we get, I'm working with Senator Cassidy on this and I wanna signal his leadership on this issue first, but what are the things that we can do and how can we continue to work with you to figure out the things we can do to solve this without creating a bureaucratic and reporting nightmare for people for whom it just is a $750,000 package of perfectly innocent goods for which they paid $750,000? Very interesting issue and, and very timely, Senator, but tough to find. Um, the scope that trade-based money launderers work against, $32 trillion worth of trade last year. So huge range of, of opportunity for them. I think it, it boil, when we talk about trade-based money laundering, we're really talking about the evasion of customs laws. Yep. And so expertise in those laws and... Uh, Although kind of in a, in a strange way, because the delivered product itself might fall totally within... The customs laws be Absolutely. completely legal and innocuous. It's only when the payment moves and it isn't commensurate with the goods that then the problem comes. That's right. And, and there, are, there are a number of creative ways to evade customs laws. And so having individuals um, on at CBP and other U.S. government agencies that work with financial flows really critical. So I would talk about expertise. I would talk about having um, the capacity, the number of boots on the ground to actually investigate trade-based money laundering, both on the civil side and the criminal side, so at CBP and Homeland Security investigations. And I think um, the, a free flow of information among U.S. government agencies um, 
first, and then second, their international counterparts, because it's not a, a crime that's limited here to the U.S. These flows go, go all over the world. Well, I look forward to continuing to work with you on it. I would like to be a good ally to Senator Cassidy as we try to solve this problem. And I think getting it right will save people uh, a lot of trouble if uh, compared to um, setting up systems that don't catch what we want to catch. Uh, thanks very much. Thanks, Senator Chairman. Men Senator Menendez and uh